Hey, my dear one beers. So in this video, we will be having a crash course on our syllabus and canvas page. So put on your scuba gear and let's dive right in. But before we dive right in, let's start with a punny joke. Uh, punny jokes are my favorite. Check this one out. What do you call an owl that does magic tricks? The answer is Houdini. <laughs> Look how cute the illustration is here. I like the eyes a lot. <laughs> They're like squinty. All right, so with that, we dive right in. We're going to be starting with our syllabus. And to access your syllabus, you simply have to go into our Canvas page, which, by the way, check out our cool icon. It's a relaxing beach. Now that it's summer, it's appropriate. So. To download the syllabus, go to the section where it says syllabus, right? Appropriately so, appropriately labeled. <laughs> you want to download it. Please be so kind as to download it so that you can follow along. There we go. And we shall return to our Canvas page after our little crash, uh, crash course intro of our syllabus. So. The first page is really just logistical information. It's our class name, 1B, you're in the right place. Our CRN is 18602. Here's my email. Uh, another thing I'd like to add is that I'm always available for Zoom conferences. Just please let me know whenever you want to schedule one and I shall be happy to meet with you. The next page is really what I like to call the meat and potatoes of it, as it's my class intro that I wrote to you all. So check this out. Welcome to English 1B. I'm so happy to have you join our very own learning community of readers and writers. At its core, the thematic premise that undergirds our course is an attention to the human experience. As this is a composition class, the curriculum is scaffolded to link the action of writing as a social enterprise that constitutes an integral part of what we do as people. Moreover, we'll explore varied aspects that contribute to the human experience. This will include things such as culture, language, politics, and relevantly, a relationship with science and technology. We'll consider how the work of writing, and more broadly speaking, composition, impel these things forward. Our adventure awaits us. So, next bit of news is a good news for our pocketbooks, <laughs> and that is that the... Uh, the source, the resource that I'm offering is free, so you don't have to buy a book. So let's take a moment to applaud for that. Hurrah! <laughs> you, can, you can use that money to buy a sandwich instead, buy a tasty meal. Okay, so for materials, you want to get some highlighters, just because to be an active reader is somebody who is continually annotating and writing on the margins, right? It's material that you should have anyway. Uh, online access, access to your Canvas account, it should go without saying since all our class is entirely uh, held through Canvas. So our online space. What is central to this is the word netiquette. Have you guys ever heard of that? Netiquette? What do you think it is? Uh, netiquette is made up of both words net and etiquette. So net etiquette. And there's really one instrumental phrase to this all and that is Remember the human. Now, this is a particularly important phrase because uh, oftentimes when we're online and interacting with others, all we see is a disembodied avatar. And it's easy to forget that there's an actual real life person on the other side of that screen. So you have to remember the human. And that goes just as much um, from student to student as from student to teacher. So uh, with one another, you know, because we're going to have discussion boards and things like that, it's perfectly normal to disagree with somebody's point of view or perspective. It's called being human, right? It's called being an individual. However, that's not an excuse to directly attack the person. So please don't attack the person. I will not allow any, I will not allow any racial slurs, hate speech, nothing like that. It's my prerogative as an instructor and uh, thus I'm creating the safe space so that we can thrive and learn and grow, right? So uh, next one is student to teacher. Uh, same thing, right? Uh, you want to be respectful towards me, to your other instructors as well. And uh, 
run a spell check, especially when you're writing a message to instructors, right? <laughs> it's a simple it's a simple little tip, but it does a, a big, big difference. Okay, readings. This is a writing composition class, so I should go without saying that you'll have readings uh, to keep you on your toes. So it will be uh, sporadic writing, uh, sorry, reading quizzes that will be a part of your modules. If you did the reading, then you'll be able to do the quizzes as they'll be based on reading comprehension. Basically, the weekly work breakdown is simple. Every week, you will have a module to do with each week. We will have uh, respective videos, uh, just like this one that you're watching here. And uh, essentially, uh, you just have to worry about the most uh, recently published module. Typically, I'll publish modules on Sundays. And so yeah, every week will have its own uh, corresponding module. So because this is week one, then you're responsible for module one, right? So just make sure to do the most recently published module at all times. For the most part, most things will be due Sunday by 59 p.m., unless stated otherwise. Uh, discussion board requirements, those will be at least a meaty paragraph. Uh, and, you know, it's, a dis it's disingenuous to call it a discussion board if you don't also have the opportunity to actually reply to one another which goes to the next point. Unless stated otherwise, you're responsible for also replying to at least one of your classmates' posts in at least two media sentences. And... Okay. Now, current events. That's something, uh, it's a later assignment that I'll go over with greater detail uh, when it comes up. But you can preview it if you wish to. Oh, this is important to note. Uh, you cannot make up discussion boards because they happen in real time. So um, what that means is that because they have set parameters to expire, then the conversation ends after said para parameter, uh, right? After that deadline comes. So that means that that conversation will be over. So uh, there's no opportunity really to reply, right? So no, dis no discussion boards can be made up. Uh, in terms of writing projects, we have a fast intercession. We have two uh, main essays. So there's that. And another thing, just want to let you know that uh, when you do submit through Canvas, uh, I have an automatic filter for it to go through Turnitin, uh, which detects for similarities, right? For plagiarism. So just do the work, you'll be fine. Just a little heads up. Check this out. We have our own chat room, which I'll show you where that is. Um, before reaching out to me, try the chat room. Try. Uh, uh, and, and see if uh, somebody else can help you with a question. Maybe s you misunderstood something and maybe something somebody else can help you. You can try the chat room. I'll show you where that is. Participation attendance. This is an online class. Log in, do the work. You're participating and you're in attendance, right? Engage with another, right? This is an online class. Tech support is really a super important friend for us. Here's the info for tech support. They will be our friends to this term. Uh, assignment submission, so please be so kind as to uh, format your documents into either .doc, .docx, or .pdf. If you're working with Google Docs, then make sure to convert into one of these before turning it in. Late work, okay. So you can turn in one late homework assignment and one late um, essay. Uh, for the essay, it's only for the first one, not for the last one, because the last one's due on our final deadline, which is July 30th. Even if you tried to use like a late essay pass on that, then I would dub the king or queen of procrastinators because <laughs> it's all over by then. So for the late homework pass, um, there's there are two limitations. Number one is that you cannot use the late homework pass for uh, discussion board because like we said, those happen in real time. So when those deadlines come, then the conversation's over because that happens in real time. The next one is for rough drafts. And uh, for our essays, we're going to have peer review workshops, which in order to receive drafts, you're going to have to submit or drafting of your own, right? And you have to do it by its respective deadline. You can't use the late homework pass. Beyond those two limitations, though, uh, what's, what's deemed as homework, things like worksheets, uh, brainstorms, outlines, uh, the current event, which I uh, briefly mentioned, so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, so for the late homework pass, uh, you're allowed to turn it in uh, one day after its deadline. So uh, let's say today there was a, I don't know, maybe an, an, an outline due. 
um, and you had a rough, uh, super rough time at work and you weren't able to do it. So just send me an e uh, email message, say, hey, Mr. Godoy, had a really hard time at work today, so I'm going to use my late homework pass. Uh, and then you just email me it as an attachment by the next day, right? So if it was the outline was due today, then you'd have until tomorrow by 59 p.m. to email me as an attachment, right? For the essay, life happens and it happens hard and fast. Life throws curveballs. So uh, for the first essay, you will have, uh, if, if you need to use it, um, I don't know, maybe something was really rough at work or, or at home or anything like that, um, and you want to use it, just send me a message, uh, let me know, and you can just email me as an attachment. For this one, you'd have up to two days after its deadline. Uh, and, oh, this is important to note. No, you cannot make up the whole module. It's important that you be on top of things. Revision. So writing is a process, and I'm really big on that. Um, do my best to reaffirm that um, both in the construction of our class uh, as well as just throughout my lessons and because writing is recursive it's ongoing then uh, I'm big on the opportunity to revise right so you can revise your first paper um, let's say you get a B you want to go for that A and uh, revising is more than just crossing T's and dotting I's revision is revamping the areas that are weak that that, that, that needed to somehow um, be improved, right? Because um, there's a difference between proofreading and revising. Proofreading is really just like spell check or, or um, you know, <laughs> crossing T's, dotting I's, things like that. But revision is much more than that. So if you do want to revise, let's say um, you got your uh, essay graded today, then uh, you have up to four days after you receive your graded paper to email me as an, as an attachment, your revised essay, for uh, a chance at a better score. Uh, just do let me know if you do wish to revise. We talked about plagiarism, it's not worth it. Just do your own work. Uh, with plagiarism, you'll get a zero, um, and that can lead to you in, in, uh, to fail the course. So it's not even worth it. Just do your own work. The Writing Center is a writing class, so the Writing Center is an invaluable resource. Here's their info. Student counseling, this is a rough time for us all. If you need to speak to somebody, then here's the info for that. Uh, DSPS, uh, if you need to make an accommodation with DSPS, then do so ASAP and send me the, uh, the corresponding document. And this stuff is just points how it's gonna work um, if you are interested. For the most part, just, just know that <laughs> you just have to be doing your uh, the module for the given week and that's going to have all of our assignments and the video lessons and anything else that goes with that module here's the grading scale look at the dog he's so happy he say hey mr godoy we we made it to the end of our logistics awesome uh, what do you what do you guys what name do you guys think this dog looks like i think he looks like a max tell me in the chat okay uh, before I move on to the canvas, I just want to talk about the organizational structure of our calendar. So generally, I'll always go over our calendar for the week in our videos with that go with each corresponding module. Uh, here on the left, we have the title of the thematic unit. And here we have a little to-do list. If any time that we're assigning anything or we... Uh, have anything due on that given week like as a reminder I'll have that all in the top and that's essentially it for in terms of the organizational layout and yep this is our final final deadline July 30 these six weeks are gonna fly my friends intercessions always do <laughs> okay look at this dog here's Max again I think he looks like a Max <laughs> Max is happy. He's, hey, we made it to the end of our syllabus. Awesome. So with that, we move on to our canvas. So I uh, just want to talk to you about what we have here. Let me put myself in the corner here. Uh, first one is the welcome letter, which is something that you should have received in the announcements. But I have it here because it, it is an important um, it is an important document. <laughs> this is cool. Have you guys ever heard a chill hop uh, station on YouTube? It's so, so cool. Uh, it's, it's from that art from chill hop. So welcome to 1B, my friends. 
uh, here's my letter, please look it over. This has logistical info, such as when we start, which is the 21st of June, ends July 30th, six weeks. Here's the link for our course. Uh, here's the link for our helpful resource. And everything else will be downloadable through Canvas. Uh, here's the here's things like uh, free tech support, the library, and so on and so forth. DSPS. And check out my welcome video. And okay, so that's the first thing that we have is the welcome letter. Next one is the communication plan. This details how you can communicate with me and how I will communicate with you and um, the time frame in my response to you, so on and so forth. So let's check out this flyer. So here's my email address. Uh, that's the main way that you can communicate with me and that's the main really um, avenue of communication that I check the most. Uh, you can also send me a message through Canvas inbox or the Canvas chat room. Um, but what's more direct is an email. Send me a, an email. Uh, because I have something called Spark, which I really recommend to you, Spark is an application that lets you integrate all of your email boxes into one place and allows you to see them all uh, in the same place. I actually have it on my phone too, and that helps a ton. I really recommend it. It's called Spark. So because of that, I'll generally I'll answer it in 24 hours or less. Uh, the way I'll contact you is through your Chafee address. So again, another plug for Spark. Okay, get yourself. Uh, I'd recommend that uh, and be checking your Chafee email. What's cool about Spark is that you can continually be seeing both your personal email if you have a Gmail, uh, as well as as well as your school email in the same place. So uh, also I can communicate to you through Canvas inbox, but for the most part, uh, your email address or or, or inbox. It kind of depends on like how you're going to message me. Um, I generally answer th through that platform. Uh, the way you'll interact with one another is since we're having discussion boards through those. Uh, another one is through peer review workshops, which I'll explain what those are later on down the line. Uh, the chat room, which I'll show you where that is. And remember, I'm always available for Zoom meetings. Just let me know if you ever want to schedule one. I'm here to help. Uh, we are on the same side. <laughs> okay, so that is that. That is my communication plan. My internet all of a sudden got a little slow. That'll happen at times. Okay, so here's the syllabus, which we looked at already. Here is the link for our helpful text resource. And what this has is really just nuts and bolts if you ever have uh, any questions um, about these the logistical uh, details that go into writing into our course. Uh, maybe some things you forgot from 1A, you can revisit this. Uh, so that's a helpful free resource. Did somebody say free? Yes, free. All right, here's the info on our writing center. Here's a, they made a little video, which is really cool. Uh, so even though we're online, uh, we're still able to work with writing tutors just just the same as if, if we were uh, meeting in person. And team building activity, oh, this is really cool. So we've all been going through a hard time. This is a space really to share, like maybe if you ever come across a cool GIF or a cool video, whether that's a music video or, I don't know, some, cool, some video that you want to share, um, then I want to show you how to actually do that. First, I'll show you how to share a video. Uh, I'll give you an example. So uh, I'm a Clippers fan, and yes, we beat the Jazz and we moved forward in the uh, Western Conference. So yes. OK, so l let's say I wanted to upload the Clippers highlights from uh, the last game, the Jazz. OK, cool. Awesome. All right, so if you want to upload this, then you just go to Share. You want the embed link, you copy it, and okay, close it once you have it. Okay, then you can go to insert, you go to embed, because we want the embed code, right? And then you paste it in there. Boom, there it is. The other way, there's actually an icon here uh, for the media, and you can drag it in there. But that, that's like if you actually have it, um, but if you want to do it from like YouTube or uh, 
you know some some other place where you actually have an embed uh, link then that's all you do just go to insert and embed code remember that there's a difference between just uploading the actual uh, link versus an embed code uh, remember to do that you just go to you just go to share and you go to embed right so you want the embed code so that's what you copy all right so now I'm going to show you how to upload a picture let's pretend you want to upload I'll, I'll tell you what my favorite cat is <laughs> let's 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 look for that guy right there um, just trying to there we go okay so my favorite cat is called British Shorthair and first of all you find the picture that you want to share and oh this <laughs> let's show this guy oh, it has a little um, what's that called what's that called watermark watermark yeah we don't want the watermark how about this guy looks a little fuzzy doesn't it oh this one looks why do the pictures look kind of fuzzy hmm So this will be our pet cat for the class. <laughs> oh, this one. Okay. Oh, look and look at how clear the image looks. This is exactly what I was looking for. Something that doesn't look pixelated or fuzzy. Okay, so once you have your picture, you can drag it out. And once you have your picture, then you just, again, just go to reply. This is all based on just hitting reply if you ever want to upload a video or a, or a picture or, or even type in text, right? So you can either go to insert image or um, the little icon here for the image. Uh, you can just upload it and drag it in there. But let's say you go to insert image, you go to upload image. As long as you know where it is, then you go ahead and upload that. And something I want to put here you guys can help me with <laughs> is give me a name. And this is a little cat emoticon I like to do with the keyboard. Give me a name. What do you guys think he looks like? All right. So that's what this is. This is a place to share something that you've come across. Or, or hey, you can even share pictures of your pets. I think that's a cool idea. Uh, so obviously, you know, nothing crass, no nudity. Uh, but it's a place to share something that you come across. It's like our collage of our class. It'll show, like, the spirit of, of our class. <laughs> Okay, so that's what that is. It's not for points, it's just ongoing. And just if you ever come across something cool and upload it to here, um, show us a picture of your pet. That'll be cool. <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, okay, so that's what that is, team building activity. Ah, so the module, remember I said that every week you're, respond, you're responsible for the corresponding module. So this is week one, so you're responsible for module one, right? So always watch the videos before proceeding because they will guide you through the module. First thing that we have is the icebreaker. And before proceeding, um, okay, so we were talking about netiquette, right? Remember the human. What better way is there to remember the human than to actually have a picture of yourself on your profile? So this is part of the icebreaker. I'm asking you to please upload your picture to your profile. In order to do so, simply go here where it says account. If you have your picture, awesome. If you don't, then you'll probably see a little uh, grayed out circle. So you go to here where it says account, then to profile, excuse me, and then click the click here and upload your picture. So that's the first task for the icebreaker. Next thing is introduce yourself. Tell us, hey, what's your name? If you have a major, something interesting about me is you know something you'd like to share about yourself. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share? Um, just like me, I share my favorite basketball teams, the Clippers, favorite baseball teams, the Dodgers. Uh, in terms of music, you know, there's a genre I like, it's called a dream pop. It's a cool genre. <laughs> so anything else you guys want to share, then then just uh, go ahead and do so. Uh, and yeah, so we already talked about how to upload uh, images and uh, videos um, from like an outside source but what if you want to introduce yourself through a video here well in order to do so you can click this icon that it's a media icon right so you click that and you go to record 
and you just start recording. Say, hey guys, my name is such and such, my major is blah, 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 which I recently just decided on. It had been a while, it's uh, not decided on. Uh, it's cool to meet you all. You know, I'm really into this, that, and the third. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys online. Something like that, right? If you don't want to do a video, you can do audio. So you go to webcam here, and you go to no video, and you could just record audio. So, uh, please write uh, at least four meaty sentences, a meaty paragraph, and uh, or do the whole video thing. Uh, you can include in your icebreaker like a picture or, or anything like that. <laughs> this is where you can show us your pet too if you want. You'd be like, this is my uh, pet Labrador or something. Okay, so remember to also reply to at least one classmate's post for full credit because it's a discussion board after all. And this is going to be due, it always says when it's, when it's due, and this is, it says it right here in the corner, June 27th, so, uh, which is Sunday. See, most things for the, most things will be due Sundays by 11.59 p.m. Okay, next thing, uh, syllabus quiz contract. So if you just finished this video and you just uh, saw me go over the syllabus, then uh, just take this uh, little syllabus quiz contract, which really they're just frequently asked questions that I get. And since this is fresh in your mind, take it now. There's no uh, time uh, limit to take it. Just, I mean, obviously you have until June 27, but like what I'm saying is that once you open it, um, it's it's an unlimited attempt, right? So it's not, it's not intended to trick you or anything. <sighs> okay, grammar lesson. So uh, what better way to start off um, than to just make sure we have those nuts and bolts down? I know this is 1B, but uh, grammar lessons are always helpful uh, just to make sure that we have down uh, things that we continually see uh, throughout uh, our papers and one another's drafts. Um, so check this out and this and also check out the uh, uh, accompanying video that I'm including in this module, right? That'll go over our grammar lesson. Uh, this is the corresponding assignment that goes with the grammar lesson, which uh, I'll explain the particularities of, particularities of in the grammar lesson video. And again, this is due by Sunday by 59 p.m. And that's what we have for this week's module. Okay, so what else, what else, what else? Okay, announcements, obviously you know that. Uh, people is just a roster. And grades, I'm always doing my best to upload grades. So uh, if you, actually, if you haven't done so already, download the Canvas app on your phone so you can be continually uh, checking how you're doing in your classes and, and uh, just stay up to date on announcements and such. Uh, okay, chat. Here's the chat room I was talking about. And I shall break the ice. <laughs> I'll put, howdy, how's it going? And I shall put my favorite animal, which is a panda. What's your guys' favorite animal? Tell me in the chat. You can respond here. And in fact, I'll, I'll ask that. What's your, what's your favorite animal? You guys can tell me here. Oh, there we go. All right. So that's our chat. And yeah, inbox, if you want to send somebody a message through inbox. Uh, last thing, oh, last thing is here, Canvas help. So if you have any trouble with Canvas, check this out. This blew my mind. Canvas technical support for students, 24 seven Canvas help. So no excuses. If you're having trouble, reach out. And that's it for Canvas and syllabus. If you have any questions about either the syllabus or the Canvas, then uh, please reach out. With that being said, welcome to the class. Hold on to your hats as the ride is now in motion. So see you guys online.